Mars is a modular artificial reef structure that creates reef habitat for tropical and temperate marine ecosystems. Mars provides the foundation to rebuild and recreate both tropical and temperate reef ecosystems and is another tool among many for the flight to sustain the world's ocean habitats for future generations. The individual Mars units are secured together using a clamping mechanism, allowing the structure to be customized to match the features of the seafloor, creating a stronger and more natural reef system. For example, in coral reef areas that have experienced dynamite fishing, the Mars units can be used to rebuild the damaged areas, mimicking the height and width of the lost reef. This would immediately create extra habitat for fish and over time provide the structure for corals to colonize and regrow. Mars is used by sea creatures and deployed from small boats and implemented by divers. This completely eliminates the need for heavy-duty machinery, which greatly reduces cost. The surface of each unit is designed with unique indentations that give the very first colonizing organisms protection from predators when they are most vulnerable. The indentations are shaped specifically so that predatory fish cannot fit their mouths into the space to feed on the organism. Once the organism has a solid hold on the surface, it can flourish and grow beyond the safety of the indentation. This design theory is applied on a larger scale in between each arm, where protective shields create a sanctuary for juvenile fish and shrimp. The indentations also provide ideal holds for manually transplanted corals. Each unit combines ecologically receptive ceramic with the strength and durability of concrete and composite rebar to create a structure that can withstand violent ocean currents and harbor ecosystems. During the early stages of Mars development, multiple material samples were tested in both tropical and temperate environments to gauge which material would harbor the highest levels of ecology. Multiple types of concrete and ceramic were tested over a 12-month period with ceramic wielding the most promising results, especially for coral transplanting. Slip casting was explored as an economical solution to mold the ceramic but would still require concrete reinforcement inside the hollow form to guarantee strength. This led to multiple prototypes tested by divers to analyze the logistical issues of deployment and implementation by hand. Final material prototypes were also deployed and monitored for three months to scrutinize the strength of the materials and joining systems. Design of the complex surface was developed in consultation with Sustainable Oceans International, who provided critical information on the importance of protective space and surface complexity. Mars is also currently being used to assess the ecological suitability of large-scale artificial reef projects within two areas of Port Phillip Bay. Alex Grove designed and developed Mars during his final honors year at Monash University in 2013. He has won multiple awards for the design. He said that he has always been interested in artificial reefs and loves the ocean. Alex Goad also teamed up with David Lennon to start the Reef Design Lab, which is a nonprofit design studio and think tank based in Melbourne, Australia, providing innovative new eco engineering products for architects, engineers, and developers that want to increase the ecological value of their rock walls, jetties, marinas and canal estates. Artificial reef structures is not a new idea. They are thousands of years old. Ancient Persians blocked the mouth of the Tigris River to thwart Indian pirates by building an artificial reef structure. During the First Punic War, the Romans also built a reef across the mouth of the Carthaginian harbor in Sicily to trap the enemy ships and to assist in driving the Carthaginians away from the island. Artificial reef structures increased fish yields and were used in 17th century Japan to grow kelp. The 
earliest recorded construction of artificial reefs in the U.S. is from the 1830s when logs from huts were used off the coast of South Carolina to improve fishing. Since the 1830s, fishermen in the U.S. used interlaced logs to build artificial reefs. Recently, castaway junk such as old refrigerators, shopping carts, and ditch cars replaced the logs in ad hoc reefs. Team 4 believes that the technology that Mars uses will help save and preserve the world's ocean habitats which will benefit human beings as well as sea life. We believe that there will be more advances with this type of technology to help with many of the other environmental stresses that we are facing in the world today.